If you're quitting smoking weed, quitting nicotine products such as vapes, cigarettes, or chewing tobacco, there's a good chance that you're going to experience withdrawal symptoms. And I'm here today to tell you to embrace the withdrawals and not run from them because the withdrawal is one of the most important parts for any addiction recovery process, and that's for four primary reasons. And I promise this video is going to change your mindset when it comes to quitting. If you're new to the channel, my name is Dr. Frank. I'm the founder of Addiction Mindset Recovery Coaching, which are programs dedicated to helping people quit nicotine, THC, energy drinks, and adult media content, substances I once struggled with. If you want more free or paid resources about our programs, check out the link in my profile, the pinned comment, or the video description. Withdrawal is pain with purpose, unlike addiction, which is pain that has no purpose behind it. And there's four primary categories of purpose behind the withdrawal symptoms. Category number one, withdrawal is meant to remind you of what this felt like so you don't go back to it again. Withdrawal and the suffering that you go through is meant to ingrain itself in your brain, a certain degree of suffering to remind you, I don't want to go through the sweats again. I don't want to go through the headaches. I don't want to go through the vomiting. I don't want to go through the nausea. I don't want to go through the muscle pain. I don't want to go through the mood swings and the depression and the anxiety. I don't ever want to go through drug withdrawal again. Point number two of withdrawal is to show you what this drug was doing to your body. So when you quit smoking weed or you quit vaping, you're probably going to start coughing a lot and you're going to cough up a bunch of junk, right? Especially if you're quitting cigarettes. It's showing you what this was doing to your body. You might experience nausea. You might experience insomnia. It's showing you might experience a lack of motivation when you first quit. It's showing you exactly what this drug had done to you mentally and physically. And withdrawal is an amplification of those symptoms. I remember when I quit smoking weed and I had manic psychotic behavior for the first three days, I could not believe that weed was having that profound of an impact on me. When I couldn't sleep, when I couldn't eat for a very long time beyond one meal a day because I felt so sick when I first quit smoking weed, I could not believe how badly it was impacting my body physically and mentally. The third point of withdrawals, pain with purpose, the pain behind the withdrawal symptoms, is to push you. This is a chance where you are challenging yourself. This is a chance for you to callous yourself. This is a chance for you to come and take on a challenge that you've willingly, willingly put in front of you, right? You chose to quit. And to see that challenge through, this is an opportunity to develop discipline, grit. This is an opportunity to develop dedication. This is an opportunity for you to, to, to push through. When you say, I can't, I'm not capable of, I don't feel good today, I'm not able to do this. This is an opportunity to prove yourself and prove addiction wrong. This is that type of opportunity. It's like running a marathon or climbing a mountain or starting a business. And guess what? When you go through withdrawals, when you push yourself, when, when withdrawal teaches you how to get through these challenges that you didn't think you were capable of getting through, because right when you allow yourself to go into withdrawal, you're going to develop new tools and new techniques to get through those withdrawal symptoms, right? Right. And then you're going to be able to apply those tools and techniques to other aspects of life. Maybe that's starting a business. Maybe you're already in a successful business, like many of the people that call our offices are. And maybe now you're going to get a new set of tools to apply to your stagnantly successful business to take it to the next level. Maybe you're going to apply each of these things to relationships, right? But you would never get the benefit of quitting a drug without sustaining some level of withdrawal. It's the withdrawal that pushes us. It's the withdrawal that reminds us. It's the withdrawal that shows us. It's the withdrawal that teaches us. Addiction, on the other hand, 
There is no purpose behind that pain. There is, you're not growing. You're not developing anything, right? You're not eventually going to get a return on your suffering, on your discomfort, right? All it does is lead to more destruction. Addiction, addiction to weed, addiction to nicotine is a failing investment. You get nothing in return for all this stuff. Withdrawal, you're going to get something in return. You get nothing in return for the pain behind addiction. Therefore, addiction is pain without purpose. Lastly, don't keep running from the withdrawal symptoms. The sooner that you embrace them, the sooner that you face them, the sooner you put an end to this addiction and you begin that next chapter of your life. Getting sober, quitting a drug is not an end to, to, to anything. It's not an ending. It's a beginning. And it's a beginning where you're, where you're setting yourself up with a new set of tools, a new mindset, and a completely new outlook on life. If you're having a hard time getting there, either follow me into the next video where I get you pumped up a little bit more when it comes to quitting smoking weed. Follow me into the video description, the link in my profile, or the pinned comment, and book a one-on-one call. If you need help, get help. I promise it's worth your time. I wouldn't have dedicated the last six years of my life to helping people since quitting myself if I didn't believe that. I hope to see you guys in one of those various spots. Until next time.